Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video Topic 5.14, Integrated Pest Management. So what IPM is, and that's what uh, Integrated Pest Management is, is it's not just one method you can use to reduce your pest amount, but it's a series of steps you can do that might reduce the traditional you know, pesticide that would normally be used during a, um, during a uh, agricultural or some other issue that you're trying to do, right? And so, um, so some of these methods can include biological controls. They can use uh, physical controls, and of course, some chemicals can be used as a pesticide. Okay. So the first one is a biological control. So that's a really cool thing. Here's a ladybug um, eating an aphid, and so what that does is you can unleash an organism that can either parasitize or um, hunt the pest that you're trying to get rid of. Okay. And so you can release a large number of predators. Other more advanced methods have led to maybe using genetically modified organisms that are either sterilized or um, will lead to other problems with the pest species. You know, those can be done. But the downside is it's very slow to get that research done. You have to do the research properly or you can end up with a problem like the cane toad in Australia. So um, if you haven't had a chance, you should definitely look up cane toads in unnatural history. Um, those were used in Australia, and Australia has several cases of invasive species, but that one was done as originally to be a biological control. And so uh, another wet method that's a little more effective here and takes less time is going to be a physical control. That's going to be things we've mentioned before. You can either intercrop, right, where you grow crops between each other uh, to have, uh, you know, less erosion and to have less uh, of a chance for that pest to come in. Um, and of course, you can also do crop rotation. That's where you're going to have um, certain crops on one season and then the next season change it out or um, vice versa. And what that does is it doesn't allow the pest to get established very well. Um, and then, of course, you can have the studies done, but it is going to cost time and money and you have to put the effort in. Now, of course, the benefit is you're going to protect wildlife. So it doesn't just rely on pesticides. You're going to protect wildlife, soils, and ultimately, if you're using a crop of some sort, the persons who are going to eat that crop don't have to worry about the pesticides, you know, getting into the food source itself. Um, and it's going to reduce your amount of water because you won't have to be, um, you know, especially if you're using intercropping, you won't have to have so much erosion and things like that. And of course, you're going to have human health uh, improve. But they do get to be complex systems. They don't always work. Um, they're expensive. And you do end up having to have these time-consuming research uh, events to be able to find out if your controls will work as hoped and as planned. So here's some resources to kind of look into those. Um, and hopefully this was helpful and hopefully that was helpful too. Thank you.